Hey, this is James with Understand Your Mac, and for this tutorial I thought that we would talk about publishing your iCal to your Google Calendar. Now that's something that uh, mobile me users and previously .Mac users have been able to do for quite a while, but um, obviously mobile me is something you have to pay for, whereas Google Calendars is free. And once Leopard was released, iCal 3 came out and uh, that has what we call CalDAV, which is kind of an open standard that lets you publish your iCal calendar and, and other calendars to um, different places. So it wasn't proprietary like it was with .Mac and iCal. So we're going to go to a page that talks about how to do that. And I've, I've got the link in the show notes uh, because the page is kind of an ugly address. But uh, we can also just do a Google search. So I'm going to do iCal, Google, and then oh, calendar appears right there. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. Of course, that's a suggest feature that's in Safari 4 that's currently in beta. And right at my top hit here, you can see it's in purple. I visited here already. But uh, we can just click right there, and it tells us how to get started. And this takes us to the Google page. And we can click on Enable Google Calendar in Apple's iCal. And again it tells us we need iCal 3 which is a part of Leopard. And we have to download a setup tool here so I'm going to click on that real quick. You can see it's been downloaded quite a few times already by folks. It's called Collaboration. We'll click on that. It's a very small file. Let me close my downloads window. And I'm just going to drag it to the desktop for now and later I'll drag it to my applications folder. Go ahead and give it a double click and Finder gives us a warning, tells us we've downloaded this from the internet and are we sure we want to open it and we do. And now off screen I'm going to enter my Google information. Okay so I've entered my Google information and now we're met with this screen right here. And I can go ahead, I've selected two different calendars I have in there. I actually don't have any information in there yet, but I go ahead and go down here and choose click on I pardon me add to iCal. And now it tells me to open iCal and if I'd had iCal open already it would have told me to quit and then open it up. I'm going to open it. And you can see it's trying to synchronize with the calendars that I have up on Google right now. Now I already have three calendars here that I've prepared just as a demo, um, or just for this demo I should say, but I don't have anything in, in my Google calendars yet. So I'm going to go ahead and create an event here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to delete these gym events that I have when I'm normally in the gym, and I'm going to move them to my Google calendar because it won't let me just move it over unfortunately. So everything that gets published needs to say Google and then colon and then the name of the calendar as a part of that. So you can see it's already syncing. And I'm going to click on Jim and I'm going to hit Command I for info. I'm going to tell it to repeat every day for seven days. Well, yeah. And I'll click done here. So you can see that it's going all the way across here for a full week and it's synchronized. Matter of fact, I need to change this color so it stands out a little better. Well, it's not going to let me do it there. So what I'll have to do is I click here, Command I, and now I can select a different color. Let's make it purple, just like the other gym was. And I'll click OK. And you can see the color change. It's syncing. And now let's go take a look and see what's happened out on our Google Calendar here. Now this is taking me to my iGoogle site. And I'm going to choose Calendar. And look at that. It's synchronized. It didn't. It stayed with the blue color. Let's see if I refresh if that changes or not. It doesn't, so it's going to stay with that color. We can change the 
times if we want. You can see if I just put over these little lines here, the arrow appears. We also have this little symbol here that's showing it's repeating, which is pretty cool. Okay, so you can see how that synchronized very quickly right there. And if I want to go the other way, I'm going to click on my Blyfus calendar here. I'm just going to add something. We'll make it noon. Noon to 1 o'clock. And we'll call it lunch. And I click on create event. And I just typed command R on my keyboard to let it synchronize. And um, let's go. And look at that. Here's my event already in iCal. So it, it came in that quickly. So that's how they'll sync back and forth. Now, if you want to add a new calendar and have it sync with your iCal, you're not able to add it from your iCal application. You actually have to go out to Google right here and do it instead. And you can do that just by clicking on Create. So I'm going to go here. My calendar name is going to be Testing Google. And I can put a description if I want or location. And it lets me choose my time zone and my country. And if for some reason I wanted to make this calendar public, which some people might want, uh, you can do that. So if you're like a public speaker and you want people to know where you're at at a particular weekend where you're speaking, you could use that. You can also choose to share your calendar with a specific person or people. And you can also, you have settings here. And so you can give them permission on what they can see and if whether or not they can make changes to your calendar as well. And you also can remove those people so you're not committed to it. And then you just have to click on Create Calendar. So you can see testing Google appears here. So the next step after creating that calendar on the Google website is I go back to the collaboration tool here. I enter my information and then I tell to add testing Google to iCal. So there's that warning I mentioned earlier. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down to my dock. I'm going to click and hold the mouse button and this contextual menu, menu appears and I choose quit. Now I'm going to tell Collaborator to continue. Tell to open iCal. And you can see there is our new calendar and there's the test that I put in. So now that I've added the calendar, I can go back and forth and continue to add new things. Now one thing I want you to notice though is I have these calendars up here this one is go to dentist that falls under my home calendar doesn't say Google and the colon then my name and here's one consulting with Cindy that falls under my work calendar if I go over here to Google you'll notice that neither of those are appearing in my Google calendar so I'm not able to share those with somebody else so what that means is that you have to be sure that anything you want to share with somebody falls under one of these calendars that, that is in your Google page. You can't just throw it in one of your calendars up here and expect it to populate over in Google. That's not going to happen. So that's important to keep in mind.